Welcome to today's edition of Amp Test Tuesday. Let's go see what we got. Got my biggest fan right here. Yeah. All right, Dave, have you found an amp yet? Yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you want to run? That Soundstream amp right there. Soundstream? Which one? The Class A 5.0? The Chrome one? Yep. Let's do that one. All right, let's do it. Class A 5.0, huh? Class A 5.0. Good shit, man. This is one of my favorites from back in the day. Let's hook it up. I'm telling you, back in the day, I would have sawed my grandma's arm off and slapped her with it for this amp. I know that sounds ruthless, but for real, that's how it was back in the day. So let's go ahead and take this. We're going to put this in mono. I want all the power I could possibly get out of it. Set it in bridge mode. See how it does. Now back in my day, this is what we called the ultimate cheater amp because you're looking at 25 watts times one at eight ohms bridged. So you could tell people, I got a 25 watt amp and you could be in that 25 watt class until you dropped it down to a quarter ohm and you're looking at 500 watts. This thing's rated for 25 times one, 100 times one, 200 times one. And that's at eight ohms bridged, four ohms bridged, and two ohms bridged. So let's go ahead and see if it makes those numbers at least. All right, just to let you know how serious I am about these tests, I downloaded these off the internet and I got Bernice over here gonna help me out. Gonna make this legit. Come on, Bernice, don't let me down now. It's just like it's the late 80s again. Early 90s, ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and put this amp to the test now. It says it likes to be at a half ohm, even a quarter ohm, but we'll do a half ohm just so I don't blow it up. It probably won't blow up, but just in case, we'll get this out of it. So we're going to choose one ohm bridged, which will show the amp half an ohm because the amp is bridged. So remember that. Track four or nine. Track four, start the dyno. Let's go. Half ohm. Four hundred and seven, a little low, a little short of the five hundred watts it claims. All right, four hundred seven at distortion. Let's go ahead and run this thing up to clipping, which is a little bit different. That's probably how they ran the test back in the day. So uncertified is going to stop the test at clipping. Hit enter, do channel, bring this thing down to half an ohm. Ready, ready, Dave. Track four. Four nineteen. Right, now for dynamic power mode, dynamic RMS. Four fifty four. Oh, that's 14. Went up like that. Nope. We're still uh, still on the 12 volt bank. All right, now we're gonna go down to a quarter ohm and see if we can get more out of this shit. We're just gonna take this little jumper right here, run it across, certified, hit enter, 
mono. You can see we've got a whole different choice of loads to choose from. So half ohm bridged, which is something I wouldn't do on hardly any amp except one of these old school sound streams. So let's see what it does, man. Track four or nine. Hey, here goes the big one, Dave. Oh shit. This makes me nervous. I heard something pop. Uh oh. Huh? She went in to protect. So we will revisit this test when I get a new fuse. Now that was just my ignition, no big deal. Guess if I burn it up, I'll have to go find one. But what I'll do is I'll stay away from quarter ohm. Back in business. Nice. Can't start the Tahoe, but we're back in business. All right, so I actually did find a fuse. And uh, we're gonna keep going with this test. We're gonna jump up to the 14 volt bank. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be doing a quarter ohm anymore, but I might do it on the 14 volt bank because it might be able to handle it with more input voltage. But uh, let's go down to one ohm bridge at 14 volts and see if we can get the 500 watts out of this. Right, off the 14 volt batteries. Let's see what we got here. Certified. Half ohm. Four seventy, uncertified mode. Four seventy two. So just a little bit short. You know what? I got a fuse to spare. Let's go down to a quarter ohm at 14 volts and see if it'll get that 500 watts that we're looking for. That's half ohm bridge, which is a quarter ohm. So 495, fuse didn't blow. So you're looking at it right there. It's a little bit shy of its numbers, but still not bad. All right, the big numbers didn't exactly come in, but let's see about all these other ranges. We're talking 25 times one, eight ohm bridged. So let's do eight ohm bridged. Insert. <coughs> this is up to clipping. So claim 25 watts, does 40. Let's go ahead and drop this thing down to 4 ohms mono. It claims 100 times 1. Four. 
140. All right, drop down to two ohm bridged, and we're looking at 200 times one. Come on, 200 times one. Take it up to clipping. So far so good. And one last test. Dynamic RMS. Track four. Oops. Track one. Start the dyno. All right, let's go. Two sixty seven. All right, so here's our scores right here. Overall, in the higher impedances, it did more than what it's rated. But when it comes down to a five hundred watt amp, it was just a little bit shy. I would still give this amp a passing grade because it was so close to five hundred watts, and I kept popping that forty amp fuse. Probably if I had a bigger fuse, it might have gone all the way up. I don't know. But at a quarter ohm in dynamic mode, we were just short of 500. In all other modes, we were 30 watts short of 500. So, not that big of a deal. In all other modes, it passed with flying colors and then some. So, there you have it. I have to have that back now. And just so you know, I'm not running a smaller than rated fuse. It is rated for a 40 amp fuse. That's the one that was in it. But, uh... I'm going to have to take Subscribe that back. to my channel and check out all the Amp Test Tuesday videos. I got a whole rack over there and people have been sending amps in and, you know, just video for days. You want to know what that old amp that you had in the closet used to do? Or maybe a brand new one. We're going to go ahead and do all kinds of testing. So thanks for checking in. Subscribe and all that good stuff. See you next time. Shouts out to Sife Morrison, Thrash Life Clothing. Here we go. You don't think I could do it? 41 years old on the ripstick. All right, here we go. Don't laugh my ass off.